Hi, I'm Don, and this is The Hobbyist Geek. All right, today we are finishing off issue nine. We've just got one stage left, and this magazine is done. We have our parts, we have our magazine. Let's open it up and see what we got. All right, for this issue, we've got uh, these parts here. We've got the rear axle bottom, rear axle top, the differential cover, the differential housing, uh, the brake drums, and the left and right rear backing plates, along with a whole bunch of screws. We're not going to be needing anything else from the build for this one. All right, we're going to start by assembling the axle here. So we're going to take uh, the bottom and the top here and make sure that uh, you've got it aligned so that when they come together, you've got this nice large hole here like this. Uh, and it'll come right in and you attach it with two CM screws, one on either side. All right, uh, with this assembled, you're gonna to wanna to take the differential cover and that's gonna go into the small hole here. And you're gonna use one IP screw right through there to hold it in place. All right. Once you've got that in place, it's time to put in the differential housing. And if you take a look, there are some posts here and there are some holes on the top and bottom. That's where those posts are gonna go into. And it looks like you've got this uh, little groove here on one side. And it looks like if these posts are facing down, that groove is gonna go on the bottom. So you slide it in place just like this. And you're gonna use four DM screws to hold it in place. All right, and there you have it with the differential housing in place. Uh, we are actually done with the axle for now, and we can start working on assembling the brake drums. So what you wanna do is take one of the brake drums and you place it on the backing plate. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it's all nice and lined up. There's like a little hole here. I don't know uh, what that's for. It's pointing it out in the uh, instructions, but there doesn't seem to be a peg or anything for it to slide into. Uh, however, I can tell you that uh, with that hole, you're gonna wanna put this assembly towards the top and line it up so that the screw holes all match. going to want to do is use three HP screws and once you've completed that you will repeat the process with the other one. And there you have it. Two brake drums assembled and that actually completes stage 30. And there you have it. Uh, one Pretty short issue here, but it looks like we're finally starting to get ready to throw on the rear tires. Uh, I'm excited. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. What do you all think? Uh, if you like the video, please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Have a great day.